All right, folks, what's going on? Up here waiting for a meeting, so I'm over here at the park. It's a beautiful day. I uh, wanted to give an update on my GoPro. Uh, as you guys have known um, from a previous video, I'm gonna put that link below, that uh, I did an update, went to firmware 1.40, and uh, had all sorts of problems, downgraded to 1.16, and was able to get it in a more of a capability of what I like using. Now the thing is with that um, 1.16 is it wasn't, uh, I do a lot of manual downloads on, the, um, on my iMac or MacBook and uh, just couldn't use iMovies. Locked everything up. So, you know, that, that was a big deal for me. And it also was overheating real bad. So I went back to 1.16, still had trouble uploading. However, I could use the GoPro app and put it on iMovies on my phone and then transfer it over. 1.14, or excuse me, 1.42 came out earlier this week. I was gonna try it, see if it corrected the issues with the last firmware update. So I download it. Nope, still no change. I think it actually heated up even in power save mode, which is not good because when that camera gets hot, it seems to lock up and doesn't perform in the capacity that it was straight out or it did straight out of the box. So anyways, I went and uh, downgraded back to 1.16, which unfortunately is the lowest version that I could get my hands on on the internet. I searched around for it, but uh, put it back into basically the setting that uh, I had previous before I went and tried version 1.42. So that just keep that in mind uh, when y'all when you update your firmware on your cameras. That uh, try to keep the uh, I guess the update or the files for that version saved on the hard disk of your computer so you could downgrade if need be if you don't get the results from or you get worse results from the firmware updates now it could be that i just got a lemon computer or a lemon i might have a lemon computer i don't know lemon gopro don't know uh, i have tried using davinci resolve but i had to change some compression settings in order to use uh, DaVinci to do my edits. So um, if I had to do that, I'd just assume use my phone, which uh, saves sp space on file size and I mean, it's a little bit aggravating, but at least I know how to use it better than DaVinci. With that, have a good one and we'll see you next time.